Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Ellie and I do mainly fashion related videos. I film a lot of styling videos and haul videos and I would describe my style as quite minimal but with a twist. So if this is something that you're interested in, I would love for you to subscribe. Also, I would really appreciate it if you guys follow me on Instagram as well where I am very active and I upload my outfits on a daily basis. In today's video, I decided to show you which are my most worn items for this winter season. We are still in winter, but the weather is slowly getting warmer. But before we move on to all of the transitional styling videos and uh, spring fashion videos, I would like to share with you which are my most worn items for this winter. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. So the first two items that I want to share with you guys are coats. The first coat is from Mango and it's a wool coat. I purchased this coat in December. Honestly, I have been wearing it too much considering the amount of coats that I do own, but I always try to rotate them, of course. I love the structured shoulders and the fact that it is a bit oversized, but not too oversized. With this particular coat, I did uh, go for my normal size, which is a size small. I would usually uh, go for a size up. Uh, when it comes to coats because I do prefer them to be a little bit more oversized. I felt like if I were to go for a size medium, the shoulder pads wouldn't uh, stay properly on my shoulders. And uh, with this particular style where the shoulders are very structured, I feel like it's essential for the coat to be your normal size and i really didn't feel like sizing up in this coat now moving on to the next coat this coat is from naked fashion and it is very oversized definitely a lot more oversized than the navy one from mango i did purchase this in size 36 so with this particular coat again i did stick to my normal size and it's actually very big but i do love it this way because i can layer a lot underneath and this way i get a lot of use out of it throughout the coldest winter days so i really really love this coat i wore it a ton in vienna when we went on a vacation a few months ago and it was amazing for there i layered quite a bit i wore this coat and a chunky scarf and i felt so warm and i have to say that in vienna the winters are quite cold and a lot of times it's very windy so it feels even colder than it is so it's very much essential for there to have this type of coat that is very long and warm i did really enjoy this coat this winter and i am sure that i'm gonna get a lot of wear out of it next winter as well so that was a great purchase so the next things that i want to show you are a few striped sweaters and i have them in one category because they're very similar and, and i just decided to not count them as separate items because kind of the idea and the outfits that you can do with them are very similar i would say so the first two ones that i have are from h&m and they're actually great quality i really like those sweaters I I wore them a lot during this winter season and whenever I'm not sure what to wear, I go for these sweaters a lot. I think that they're very easy to style. They go so nicely with white leg trousers, with leather trousers and with any type of trousers really. The other striped sweater that I want to show you is this one from Zara. I really like this. I really like wearing this sweater with linen shirts underneath. I love combining it with a white linen shirt. I will insert a photo with this particular outfit. I am definitely an outfit repeater. I do enjoy repeating outfits. There's like nothing wrong with that. I do create a lot of new outfits as well. But when it comes to outfits that I have already uploaded, I sometimes literally go on my Instagram feed and I look through my older outfits and I decide that I'm gonna wear that outfit again today. And, uh, and this has definitely been the case with this particular outfit. I have worn it so much. And now by showing you this outfit, we are moving on to the next category, which is linen shirts. I love wearing linen shirts all year round. Of course, I wear them during the winter period underneath different sweaters or cardigans. And I just really like that layering. 
Yeah, I'm obviously not wearing them because they are keeping me warm. I just uh, wear them because I really like the way they look layered with sweaters. So uh, I also wear them a lot during spring and summer and pretty much uh, all year round. I wear them under my blazers, just peeking through a little bit. This type of style formula is definitely my favorite. I love combining turtlenecks with linen shirts and then with a blazer over them and this way we have this layered look the linen shirt obviously doesn't really provide warmth as i said it, it just adds some visual interest to your overall look and of course you'll be able to see on the screen uh some of uh, my outfits that i have done with uh, this type of style formula and we are moving on to blazers i have included two blazers in this video the first one is this gray textured blazer from H&M again. It's quite surprising how many of my favorite winter pieces are actually from H&M. I don't really shop very often in H&M, but when I do, I buy just a few particular pieces that I absolutely love and I wear them a ton. I'm definitely quite careful with what I'm adding into my wardrobe. I really don't like impulse shopping and I am quite good when it comes to knowing whether or not I would wear this item for many years or if it's more of a trendy item that I see myself wearing just for, I don't know, a few months. So I try to stay away from those items that I don't see myself wearing for a long period of time. And all the H&M uh, pieces that I have included in this video, I see myself wearing for a long period of time. So this blazer once again adds a visual interest to your overall outfit even if you're wearing the most basic outfit underneath this blazer just elevates your look a lot in my opinion so uh, i will try to find a similar one and i will link it down below of course this h&m one is sold out at this point i would say that it was quite popular a few months ago so it did sell out quite quickly but as i said i will try to find an alternative and i'll link it down below the next blazer that i have been wearing a lot is this beige blazer i've had this in my wardrobe for ages it's from a random brand it's not really available anywhere but it's just the perfect fit i love the shoulder pads everything about it is just amazing it just fits the right way and the way that it's supposed to the h&m one is very oversized i would say that when it comes to the fit i do prefer my beige blazer this blazer i wear all year round i get a ton of use out of it of course during winter once again i layer and I wear a lot of, let's say, cashmere or wool underneath. And this way, I am making sure that I am warm whenever I decide to wear this blazer during, uh, you know, colder days. I will insert on the screen some layered looks with this uh, particular blazer. But I will also include a few photos of it from where I have worn it during summer and spring. So you can see the blazer better and you will obviously be able to see this way how I like to style it during other seasons. I have to say that the same goes for this thin stripe blazer that I'm wearing right now and also a basic black oversized blazer that I have worn in quite a few of my videos. Those I wear a lot as well but I decided to not include so many different items in um, this video but I guess since I am wearing the pinstripe blazer right now I might as well show you some photos with that blazer as well once again I think it looks great all year round since it's not a very thick blazer I once again make sure to wear cashmere or wool underneath so I can keep myself warm and I do always wear like pretty much always wear a wool coat the next items that I have been wearing a ton during the winter season have been these sweetheart neckline knits. Of course, I don't wear them when it's absolutely freezing outside, but whenever it's not super cold, I think that they're great. Once again, uh, layered with a blazer, maybe a thicker blazer and then a wool coat. I think that they look great for date nights, for going out with your friends. They're just like appropriate for quite a few different occasions. I have to say that I do plan on wearing them a lot during spring as well. I think that they're not too thick, so I can easily wear them uh, during spring, especially when it becomes even 
uh, warmer I can just wear them alone with a blazer and it's just perfect that way otherwise I can wear them with a trench coat over the blazer I will definitely talk a lot more about these type of outfits in my next video that will be all about transitional outfits and uh, essentials for the uh, transitional winter to spring period. Next item that I have worn a lot uh, during winter is this uh, sweater that is right next to me. It's an off-white turtleneck with padded shoulders. Those padded shoulder details are just so nice. They do truly elevate your outfit. I think that this turtleneck is the perfect example for a elevated basic and of course it's also very warm you don't really have to layer a lot with this particular turtleneck it contains wool and it keeps you very warm the next sweater that i wore a ton is this black alpaca and wool blend sweater that is from a brand that i really can't pronounce so or i'm just like not sure how to pronounce it exactly so, so i'll just leave it somewhere on the screen here I bought it from a site called About You. I think that this sweater may be uh, available still in um, a few sizes, so I will leave a link to it down below. I really like this sweater because it's extremely warm. You can layer it if you want, you can put a linen shirt underneath, you can just wear it in so many different ways and it keeps you very warm, it's very comfy. I think that we all need this type of oversized uh, black sweater that has a great composition that will keep you very warm but will also look very chic and sophisticated when you need it to be. Otherwise, you can wear it extremely casual, of course, but the thing is you can elevate the look if you want to. Also, another thing that I wore a lot is this cashmere turtleneck that I'm wearing currently. That is also from Mango. Once again, you can style this turtleneck in many different ways. And since it is 100% cashmere, it does keep you very warm. You won't have to layer too much with it. The last two items that I have included uh, in this video are white leg trousers. I love wearing white leg trousers in general. I think that they look very chic. I really like wearing white leg trousers all year round, really. They're great for that effortless chic look and they're very easy to style. So that's why I have included my cream and black ones in this video because I would say that those are my most worn ones and they are true staple in my wardrobe, especially during fall and winter. These white leg trousers are obviously very long. They keep you warm. I also have brown uh, wool white leg trousers that I really like from Naked Fashion, but I do think that I wear my cream and black ones the most. That's all for this video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. And as I said, my upcoming videos will include a spring fashion haul and also a transitional uh, winter to spring styling video. If you do have any other requests, please make sure to leave them down below in the comments or message me on Instagram with your request or leave a comment on Instagram. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, you can turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. I would once again love for you to follow me on Instagram as well because I am very active on there. I upload my outfits on a daily basis and I feel like it's the place where you will be able to get a lot of outfit um, inspiration. Thank you once again for watching and see you guys in the next video. Bye!